this is a little additional video just to show you how to get the aliens moving a little bit more realistically than um, they currently are. Now, if you've ever played the original Space Invaders, they go across the screen smoothly. They kind of go uh, kind of in kind of like jumps rather than kind of smooth motion. So we're going to replicate that. Now, in order to do this, I've um, just made a small change to my code. So I've created a new function called uh, move aliens. And the move aliens function is exactly as it was before, um, no difference. The only difference is that I'm passing in the invade list and DX as parameters, and I'm returning the change DX uh, as a uh, return value. I'm then going to set DX to be that return value so I can keep track of the direction all the aliens are moving in. I've now added a new uh, variable called frame count. Now, frame count is what I'm going to use to control how often the aliens move. Now, the most obvious way to um, get it to move kind of a bit more jumpy is to muck around with this delay at the bottom. So I've made that delay much bigger, so let's say 500, and I run it. You can see they look a bit more jumpy. If I then maybe uh, change this uh, DX to be maybe uh, 20, um, then again, it will look even more jumpy than that. Yeah, so that's kind of more realistic, realistic to what the aliens are. However, that's a really bad idea. And the reason it's a bad idea is because if I change that delay, everything gets delayed, including the controls, the player, everything. And that's not what we want. We simply want the aliens to only move every couple of frames. And that's what frame count will do. If I go, if frame counts, is greater or equal to maybe 100, then I'm going to move the aliens. And I'm going to reset frame count to be zero. And then every uh, one, I'm going to go frame count equals frame count plus one. Now I'm going to run it this time. Oops, I can't spell frame count, can I? better. So let's see the result. You can see they now move much more realistically. However, or more importantly, should I say, it will still have the same controls. Okay, so it's a very simple little change, but it makes our space evaders that little bit more realistic.